In this screencast, I'm going to describe this interactive simulation to help better understand PXY and TXY diagrams for vapor liquid equilibrium in a binary system. The simulation is located on the Wolfram Demonstration Project website, and I've given the link here. Basically, the simulation shows two types of plots, a pressure mole fraction diagram. And what the simulation allows you to do is change the temperature by moving the slider on the top. And you can also move the black dot around. So this black dot can be moved with the mouse. And it can be moved both to change the pressure and the mole fraction. And then on the right of the plot is the bar graph that represents the fraction of vapor and the fraction of liquid. Fraction of liquid is blue and the fraction of vapor is green. And the mole fractions are also indicated on this bar graph. And so the plot on the left, the green line, is the pressure versus the vapor mole fraction of benzene. The blue line is the pressure versus the liquid mole fraction. Benzene is the more volatile component in this simulation, and therefore it has a higher saturation pressure. If it indicated the saturation pressure to purple circle, saturation pressure for benzene, and then at the other end, that mole fraction of benzene is zero is the saturation pressure second component. On the right side is the temperature versus mole fraction, again for benzene. And now the purple circle represents the saturation temperature of benzene for this pressure of 1200 millimeters of mercury. So the saturation temperature is lower for benzene than for the second component. And again, the bar graph on the right represents the relative fractions in the liquid phase and the vapor phase. So let's look at the simulation and see how, as we change temperature or pressure or move the black dot around the various mole fractions and amounts in each phase change. Here in the interactive simulation, we're showing a plot of pressure versus mole fraction. This is at one temperature, in this case 93 degrees C. And I can move this dot around. So I move it at essentially constant pressure. Then we don't change the mole fractions in the liquid and the vapor. Will we change the relative amount as I move to right more vapor and less liquid? I can change the temperature. And what changing the temperature is going to do is move the curves down. Because remember, the intercepts on the y-axis correspond to the saturation pressure for each component. So the benzene saturation pressure looks like it's about 900 millimeters of mercury at this temperature. And then as, as I lower the temperature at 70 degrees C, it looks like it's about 500 millimeters of mercury. And so how these move, of course, we're just looking at how the saturation pressure change. And then this blue line is the pressure versus mole fraction liquid phase. And that's linear where the endpoints are the saturation pressure. The corresponding TXY diagram also allows you to move with your mouse, to move the black dot around and change the fractions. And of course, also change the temperature, move it into all vapor. And then I can increase the pressure because this is a constant pressure. If I increase the pressure, then the curves move up because at higher pressure requires a higher saturation temperature. The, again, the y-intercepts correspond to the saturation pressure for pure components. And again, the bar graph shows the relative amounts of liquid and vapor. So hopefully by using these interactive simulations, you can get a better physical understanding of binary vapor-liquid equilibrium for an ideal solution.